Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Last time we've completed Vanessa, we've got all the tribals, and we went through a mine with Vela. And now, we are back on Icor as Lupus. Because Lupus is the only person to get all the military based tribals here. So, let's just, I'll change my tri rocket launcher.
need to get rid of this cyber drone. There are, um, also, there were tribals right over here, so I used Lucas's ability to save them. Anyways, we're almost in the end. This part is much easier with Lucas, because... One, Lucas has the ability to hover, and two, Lucas doesn't need to... Um... Um... You see, pets. Colored pets. Gotta remember for my own. Okay, the next drone is in the next room, so you gotta destroy it before it kills all the tigers. There's a fuel pad right over here, so you'll need that to. Oh, there's a tribal right over here. To fly up to some. to places that are too high for you. So. You gotta get this tribal, which is right up here. And we're missing one more tribal, and it's way up here. And here is a door that Lucas can only open. Okay. This would have been a... The water would have been perfect for Vela. But only Lucas can open access this room. And guess what we found? Another spaceship piece. Look at that. This is Lucas's hatch key. Ship card. Check menu for details. Okay. We just got all the tribals now. But anyways, I hope that's homing missile ammo. Oh, I hope that is homing missile ammo. Yes, it is. Because I've been in this area with Vela before, so I will have to use my homing missiles on the that you've seen back in part seven. Alert, 
so you need to go on this raft thing. Um, we have uh, got this. Juno can also walk on the lava, but it might, but taking the raft would be a lot is faster for him. Anyways, looks like we're done getting all the military base tribals. Now I gotta hit Lucas's ship, and bam, we are done. There is also a door that we just saw but didn't use, so, and that's for Juno. Anyways, I will switch to Juno, and I will show you the room that we, the door that we haven't been through yet. But I'm also gonna show you a Floyd mission. Okay, you may remember this room back in part 7. We were here with Vela, but we didn't have Floyd with us, so we had to do this mission with Flo while we have Floyd now. This was the Cluster Bomb Crate, and now, um, let's hit this Floyd pad, shall we? Okay, let's check what this Floyd mission is about. We need to collect a minimum of 15 oil cans. There is also a... Um... Object that you can... Um, feed it in... Just 10 minutes. Although I can't see the time for the Okay, here is a door up here that we missed with Vela and Lucas. And here's a fuel pad that we gotta go up to. And now, let's fly. And we are gonna see a lava room. And what we might see here is going to be a totem pole. This, of course, unlocks the red drone as a multiplayer character. Vela and Lucas can also go through the lava room as well, but they might probably take damage, so make sure that you have quick full help before jumping across the lava or using Lucas's hovering ability to go through there. But anyways, it looks like But anyways, there is a blue key door that we are gonna do with Juno in the next part. And I hope you guys enjoy this part of Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.